I'm Sanda from Creation Experience with Sanda and welcome to my channel. In this video I will share with you my top 7 summer destinations in Croatia. These are all the places I've been to so I can recommend them and I know what I'm talking about. All of these places are in the Croatian coastal region called Dalmatia. I will be making specific videos about each of these places so make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell so you get a notification when I have new videos coming. Now let's start with destination number one. The place number one is an island. It's one of the most beautiful Croatian islands called Brač. The island of Brač is where the most famous Croatian beach is. It's located in the place called Bol, which you can see in these videos, and the beach is called Zlatni Rat. I've visited that beach for you to check it out. I loved it. It's a beautiful place, it's nice for families with kids, for young people, for elderly, there's a little bit of something for everybody and the nature is amazing. If you're coming to Croatia for your holiday, you definitely need to know some of the basic Croatian language. That will open so many doors to you and make your experience in Croatia very, very special. Go to my website croatianexperiencewithsanda.com and check out my brand new online video courses for learning Croatian in a simple way. They're unique, nothing like that exists and I'm so excited about them. You will love them. They're simple, easy to follow and you definitely need them if you're traveling to Croatia. And while you're visiting my website, subscribe to my newsletter. Now let's move on to destination number two. The place number two is a city. It's my favorite city in the region of Dalmatia and it is called Zadar. I love the city of Zadar. It's not too big, not too small, it's fun and it has plenty of history everywhere you look. There are some amazing places you should see there. Go for a walk on the main street called Cale Larga, which has, by the way, some of the best ice cream gelato I've had. You can visit the Romanesque style cathedral, you can go to see the spectacular church of St. Donat and there's plenty of Roman ruins everywhere you go. While there you should definitely go to the archaeological museum, a very special place. And you should go for a walk by the sea and listen to a very special sea organ we have in Zadar and wait for the sunset and enjoy the greeting to the sun. number three, Nin. While in Zadar you should go to check out the nearby city of Nin. Nin is the place where the Croatian state was born and it's been the Croatian royal city. Walking to Nin is kind of like walking into a museum city. You can feel the history everywhere you go. Nin is more than 3,000 years old. There have been tribes living there, the Romans have been there. It was a Croatian royal city and then it was completely destroyed because Venice sacrificed it to save the fort of Zadar during the Turkish invasion. As the first political, religious and cultural center of Croatia, of medieval Croatia, Nini is definitely a place to visit. Place number four 
is the city of Shibanik. You should definitely visit the city of Shibanik if you want to take some great photos. You will enjoy walking through the old town and admiring the architecture of the Cathedral of St. James. That cathedral is a very special blend of Gothic and Renaissance forms which are perfectly blended together. Go and check it out, take some nice photos there! The place number five you have to visit is Split. Split is the second largest city in Croatia. It's a dynamic and vibrant city and it's a place you almost can't miss if you're traveling down the coast. Because chances are that you're probably either flying to Split Airport or you're taking a ferry from Split if you're having your holidays in Croatia. Split is also a destination in itself. You should definitely come here to admire the views, to walk by the sea among palm trees. The most special thing about Split is that the Roman Emperor Diocletian chose it to build his palace here and a lot of modern day life in Split is happening inside the palace walls. Split is fit for emperors. Diocletian, when he retired from the throne, he came to his summer residence to Split and he spent the rest of his life here. So you should definitely come and check out Split. Approaching the end, the destination number six. I'm sure you know this one. Number six is Dubrovnik. The place number six is Dubrovnik. You should pronounce it Dubrovnik, not Dubrovnik. Every time I travel anywhere or meet somebody from abroad, if I say that I'm from Croatia, they say, ah, Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik. Anyways, it's the city everybody knows about. It's the first thing that comes to mind when somebody says Croatia. And you can easily see why. It's our pride and joy. It's the pearl of the Adriatic. Dubrovnik has a long and rich culture and history and it was chosen as a filming location for many, many films, including the Game of Thrones. I can just say that it's a place you must visit once in your life. We've reached the end. The place number seven, the summer destination number seven, is my absolute favorite in the region of Dalmatia in Croatia. I adore this place. And it's Korčula, the island of Korčula. 
I love that island. It's spectacular, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. They say that the legendary traveler, adventurer and explorer Marco Polo was born in Korčula. What I love the most about Korčula is that when you go to those smaller towns by the sea to fishermen villages, you will find pristine sea, nice people, everybody's relaxed in the summer and it's Croatia at its best. It's Croatia as it used to be when I was a small child growing up. I adore that place. The people, the nature, everything from the warm turquoise sea to the forests you can get yourself lost in. And did I mention the sunsets? <laughs> in my opinion, Korčula is the place you can go to if you want to rest your soul and feel inspired and uplifted. those are my top seven picks for you which one do you like the most leave me a comment below have you been to some of them please write and share your experience with me of course like share and subscribe to my channel learn Croatian before you go to Croatia so go to my website croatianexperiencewithsanda.com and get some of my basic Croatian courses which I'm sure you will like and find them easy simple and fun most of all very useful and if you want to keep watching then you must watch this video which is about what Croatian beaches are actually like and everything you must know about them before you go to Croatia. So check that video out. I'll see you in the next video. Hvala i doviđenja!